Well, Boston is now considered a high risk zone in the red zone after an increase in coronavirus cases. It was one of 11 communities to move into the red yesterday, but despite that fact, thousands of students returned to school today. WBZ's Lisa Greshi is in Roxbury with the story. 30 students welcomed back here to the Ellis Elementary School, where excitement and nerves were at an all time high. Because it's been a lot of months since I've been here in person. Fifth grader Edward Velasquez is as honest as they come. I thought school was boring, but then when I got home and I had nothing else to do, I, I kind of missed school. He's one of the more than 3,700 high need students to come back to school for hybrid learning. For me, it's it's been nervous the entire six, seven months, uh, making sure that our young people are safe. Those first day of school jitters felt across all ages and titles today. If these numbers go up, then what happens is we, we, we potentially can't go to the next phase of school. Boston Teachers Union President Jessica Tang. It is an emotional moment. Fighting back tears. People have been working so hard 24 7 for months straight now to prepare for this moment. Getting each school 100% ready, admittedly a work in progress. What you can expect as of now, spacing measures in classrooms, masks and hand sanitizer at the ready, and much smaller class sizes. Working around the clock to get the buildings clean. Still, parents can't help but have mixed emotions. I have to explain to him, you know, that it's a serious situation. Yet students walked into school for the first time in months, masks on. I feel super sorry. Smiling with their eyes, happy to finally see some familiar faces. Because it feels kind of weird only being able to talk to um, with my friends only through camera. The district plans on continuing its hybrid learning plan unless the city remains in the red zone for three straight weeks. The mayor asking parents to keep children home if anyone in the family is experiencing flu-like symptoms. Reporting in Roxbury, Lisa Greshi, WBZ News.